all right what's up how you doing welcome to my youtube channel in this section of the video basically in the series we are going to be working on authentication system basically we're going to be allowing our users to what log in and register so i know the last episode i said we are basically going to work on the admin part but notice that there's a a and a username here so basically i believe um there's an authentication system for this application though there's no login page design here so we're going to do that in the future when we start designing the application all right so without further ado let's just get started with our api so what you want to do like, is in our official studio code what we want to do is open up our terminal and the first one to do is i uh, want to go ahead and uh, create a controller so a controller basically that will serve all our purpose so we're going to have controller so what is going to be our controller i'm going to create it in the auth folder i'm going to call this auth controller all right so once this has been created what we can have is right inside here we can have a function that says register all right very good so before we move to the register let's go to our database and we'll go to the migrations then let's look at the create user table so this user table is um a default table that comes with laravel so basically when you run laravel migrations what you have is what you have in the database you're going to have on the user table you're going to have name email and password but in our case you want to add another unique value to it which is going to be username all right so we're going to pass username in this place we're going to make it what unique once this is done we can save this and close next we need to head over to the models users the php as you can see this is accepting what Fillables. So what are fillables? Fillables are basically attributes that are what mass as an able. Basically, the fields that you want to be passed to your database are what you are going to what assign your fillables. Now we have email, name, and password. Remember, we want to add another thing which is going to be what username. Superb. Once that is done, we can focus on our registration page now. So our registration page. The first thing we want to make use of is what we want to have a request all right so basically what i request request that was uh like payload that are sent or once we we'll try to what uh, make a server connection so in our case we want to have a request in this place so we can have our request all right we can go ahead and pass in what request we can have this but we want to work on what in quotes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a what a named larvae request um in our application so we're going to do php at the sun make um request what's the request we're going to make remember i'm going to put this in the auth folder so this is going to create uh our auth folder in our um requests folder right in this place you're going to see the request folder very soon so we're going to have auth we're going to call this register request so basically i love doing something like this if i'm creating a model i'll make sure it is a model if i'm creating a request i add request to the back if i'm uh, creating a controller I add controller to the back so now let's go ahead and click enter so we should check this out you will notice that in our requests there's an alt and inside the alt now we have our register request.php so this is um not a big deal you can see the authorized parts here it's saying determine if the user is authorized to make this request and by default it is false so the first thing we need to change there is what well, make it true and now get the validation rules that apply to the request so basically the request just allows us to grab data from our server and we can also validate it so here we want to validate our what request or our payload the first one it is the name all right so the name we can go ahead and say it is required all right and we can make sure it is a string next we can have our what email email address we can make sure that it is required and it is a email address all right then we can go ahead and have unique what users so we're basically saying this if i input an email that's already been used before we should get email as it has already been used or taken by another user the same thing we do for the username in this place 
but in this case rather than using email we're going to use string all right and the last thing we want is basically the password and the password i'm just going to do is required and the minimum value for our password is going to be what six so main colon six is minimum if you have max basically that's maximum maximum characters so we can save this once this is saved go back to your auth controller now when we have this request request here we can change it and import our register request all right or we can go ahead and call this register request vola simple as it is all right so this has been done already so what we can do now is validate so let's comment and say validate our payload so we can have validity there and we can do that by doing register register request and we can just go ahead and call validated all right this is as simple as abc and once this is done we can say register user all right to do that we can go ahead and create a variable user we can go ahead and call user all right so this one imports our user model as i can see then we can go ahead and do um create so while we're trying to create in this case in our scenario here we're going to have what our name and how do we get the name data we use what to register request i will use name now we're going to do this for username email and password now there's something that's going to be special about the password which is basically we need to hash our password so that it's going to be what protected meaning unfortunately if someone should be able to get into our database we can be able to what prevent them from what guessing the password even though they know the email address so what we can do is going to do hash make all right so it's just basically going to hash our password and you can see it's imported or the hash package for us all right good so once this is going to create a user so I can check if if it is successful all right so initially this is actually going to be successful there's nothing actually to check we can just return response all right so we can return response by doing oh uh, um return response okay so we're going to do return response we're going to have user is equals to this particular user and we're going to give it a response status um, status code of what 201 so we're going to give it a status code of what 201 but before we do that we want to be able to have what or create token so we need a token for our what api that's how we are going to know if it if we are undertaken or not so we're going to have token is equals to select the user we're going to have create token then we're going to pass a name we can just call it um gc app we're going to say plain tech token all right very good now we're going to pass our token here also token is equals to token this is as simple as abc and we are done with the registration system so how do we test this test this we head over to our routes api.php right below here we can have route posts i want to post where to the register all right we're going to select our other auth controller and we're going to select what the method which is what register all right so what is the method register basically our function name which is register here very good so what we want we can do is um let's go ahead and run php artisan serve so let's run our server then I'm going to open up Thunder Clients if you just see the code. So Thunder Clients allows you to run um APIs if you just see the code. So that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to point this to register. Then I'm going to um delete all this initially. 
so if i should click send you can see we have name field is required email field is required username field is required and password field is required so it is working as you can see so we can have our name precious we can have our username the precious all right we can also have email okay Now we can have password we're just going to say password is password now if you click send now we have a, 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 an error that says no database laravel meaning we have not created our database so in our in view file here yeah, we need to change this to let's just call gcdb all right so this is going to restart our server that is not done yet so we have to go back to our chrome i have to open up my Patreon admin, so I'm using uh, I have access to Patreon admin course, and I'm using Laragon. So you can go ahead and install ZAMP or Laragon on your system. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to create a database called GCDB. All right, so that is done, and now uh, we missed one thing. So let's close the server. To be able to save our data, we have to run our migration. So we have to do PHP artisan migrate. So if we should run our migration successfully, check here. You see, we have a new tables in our database. Now let's go ahead and run our server back. All right, so we should go to the request again and send this. You can see we have success and we can have our token and we can have our user data already saved. Now we should check our user table. You can see we have our user data saved. Beautiful. Now that the register part is done, Let's go to the login part. All right, so for the last part, we're going to be working on what the login part. So we can have a function and we can call this login. So once our request also for the login, so I'm going to close my server and I'm going to run our previous command, but this time around, we are going to make it login request. Okay, yeah, we're going to make it true. Just like we did now yeah, we're going to have our email so we want them to sign in with email um email and password so we're going to have required go to have email and we're going to have password which basically is going to be required and the minimum is going to be what six simple as abc now we can go ahead and have login requests Login request. Now remember we have validate. Alright, so to validate we do login request validated. Alright, good. Now we're gonna do check user. Want to check the user? I can go ahead and say user is equals to user. We are okay. So we're going to use the where clause or where method in Laravel. Sorry, I'm going to use where email. So, which is um, basically where email address, so we can do where email rather than doing something like this. Where email, are you gonna go ahead and pass the email data there? No, I, I prefer doing something like this. Where email, now I can go ahead and do um, login request email. All right, and we can say first, basically, we want the first towards data. So, what we can do is um, if not user so basically if the user is empty there's no particular user with that email address or uh we're going to check if hash check if the password we are passing in is incorrect does not match our, our, our value so we're going to have our password is going to be login password so basically um user password so what we are doing here is okay if there is a particular user in the in the database now check if the password corresponds together okay, we're going to have return response all right so we should do return response okay sorry we are going to have um four four hundred here so this is bad requests bad requests so we can have message we can say incorrect Credentials. All right, good. Yeah, we can just say login user. So yeah, we're just going to login the user, and to do that, we can copy 
basically everything here all right so paste and we have this and we have that and we are done actually so we should go to our api dot php we have our login okay good so now let's add over to the login page and uh we don't need this oh we need that actually so i just put it in email but this time around i'm going to put a wrong email address so we can see if it is actually working all right i'm going to delete this so we should click send connection was by server yeah we need to run our server back okay good so let's run this again you can see we have the correct credentials now let's put in the right data okay and i click send you can see i've successfully logged in all right so now we are done with the login part uh, what we can basically start working on in the next video is just filling up our our uh, database with um, necessary thing like products and um and cool then i believe we can basically start working on the application as soon as possible all right so if you like this video please make sure you like subscribe I'll see you in the next one peace